how would you capture your ideas when you have these coming? How would, how do you write on the, do you write on the banjo? Do you ever write on the piano or on another instrument? And yeah. Well, do you mean specifically writing music like notation and tablature? Yeah. For, you do write it. Do you use, you know, do you put it on paper or, or do you make notes like some heart, just some, you know, what, some chords, some harmony, you just chord charts or something. And then right. or, or you record it on a, your phone. A lot of people do that. Right. You know, the, right. the, the idea. Um, rarely do I do any um, transcription of myself when I first write. I will, I will, c because I'm such an oral learner, you know, I've generally, I've generally not written down music as I go. Um, it's funny. So yes, I guess short answer. I've pretty much for what I did for this album was come up with something, put it on voice memos, come back to it later, write the next part. Um, and pretty much put nothing on paper until recently though. I've this, I think this has been announced by Jake Sheps. Um, I'm doing a tab book, um, for this album. Oh, it's goes, which will come out hopefully soon. It was here at Oberlin. Um, we have January term called winter term where you can do a project of your choosing. And I chose my, my advisor approved to, to, for my project to be a whole tab book of this album. So throughout pretty much end of December and late January or pretty much throughout January to, um, late February, I worked on this Odes Codes tab book, which is very, a very interesting process for the first time putting, transcribing myself. You learn a lot about yourself when you transcribe yourself. That's an interesting thing. <laughs> um, you learn about your habits. Um, you learn about things you could have done better, perhaps like, oh shoot, should have changed that. Odes Codes <laughs> wasn't, wasn't up to snuff now, but you know how it goes. So. Um, yeah, in short, I definitely transcribe myself once it's our, once the deal is done. But in the process of writing music, generally, I don't do, do it very much. Here at college, it's a different story because I have to, I have to I have, I'll have Baroque counterpoint class and I have to write, mm -hmm. have to present sheet music. So, sure. um, and I'm getting better at that. But yeah, it's the way that the way that I've always been is by ear. So you'd make a little section, a little you know, a little theme or whatever, a little thing that came comes to mind record it and then come back, memorize that, record it and kind of learn it and memorize it and add, add to it along the way until it feels like it's a completed piece. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, I, there, there, there are certainly a lot of unfinished ideas that are sitting around in my voice memo archives. Um, that's for sure. Um, I think that's the other thing. How do you organize these? I've done, I've gone through this and then it's just a mess of, you know, <laughs> random ideas. <laughs> it certainly can be that way. I'll maybe try to name them something memorable. I mean, usually when I, the way that I tend to write is pretty, um, extreme. Like if I really fall in love with an idea, I will try to pursue it to the best of my abilities. And usually when I, when I am really inspired by something that I come up with, I am better at finishing it faster. If I'm writing something that feels more contrived, or I'm trying to put a certain concept behind it and just working, doing desk work is usually I'm, I'm worse. And that's a real skill. You know, I'm, it's, it's a hard skill to be able to have a huge concept behind your piece and write a symphony or to write a symphony as I mm -hmm. just did. Um, here I call it, it's a different thing, but um, yeah, I will say that most, my favorite compositions of mine were written in about usually a, a day, oftentimes, or like the, the skeletal structure that was written in a day and I tweaked things later. But usually I will write pretty much like enough of the tune to know that it will be easily finishable. Um, and then those are the things that usually um, end up living on. Some of the other yeah. things that I, like, li like little nuggets that I come up with that I don't finish might just sit back in the archives for a long time. And sometimes I'll dig up things that are two years old and apply it. They're, they're, that happened with a few pieces on this record, but... Right. You know.